No more fish eye. Now this is weird filming with this lens because it's another brand new lens. But this time, no more super wide angle. So had to use that one yesterday because I wanted to test it out and get you guys' feedback. I think 90% of you guys hated it. So, so no more fisheye lens. I didn't know how it was gonna work anyhow. I'd never used a super wide angle for filming before, but now I know, not a good idea. So we got a new camera lens, not wide angle. It's just like the original one we've always had, but it's brand new, so no more bubble on the screen and stuff. Anyways, hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Reagan and I are actually on our way right now to sign on our house. We already submitted the down payment through wire transfer yesterday. Now we don't actually go to the house today because they need three to five days to get everything out of their house. That'll be coming very soon. We got quite a bit of stuff we wanna do to bring content when it comes to the new house as well and shop space at least for my end of things on that. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. We are officially owners of this new place. How excited are you, Reagan? Excited. Pretty excited. So she's gonna have her little horsey farm right behind the house, which will be nice for both of us because when I do have to end up taking care of them at certain times, I don't have to drive 20 minutes to go take care of them. And they're in the backyard, so with maintaining stalls and feeding and stuff like that, it's just way easier, like way, way easier. You guys will see more about that soon. I'm not gonna bore you with that right now, but stay tuned, lots of stuff coming. But mostly, the shop that I'm gonna be building in part of that barn. Big Blue needs wash. It's been about two weeks since it's been clean. I'm gonna scrub this thing down, get it washed, and actually see this thing shine again. It's gonna be much, much needed. Then you got the screwed up headlight side, and I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time today or not. But I'm gonna try to fix that headlight in today's video. To be honest, you want to know what my favorite part of the car wash is? It's leaving and hearing this. Oh, that never gets old. How do you like that? You got to be honest. Is that your favorite part of the wash? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it's pretty sad. A lot of new stuff happening today. A lot of new stuff. So we're actually on our way back to my parents' house right now and a couple things. So we're actually getting a new truck delivered today, believe it or not, not a new truck by no stretch of the imagination is this a new truck. This is just a new to me truck sort of thing. We just went to the bank. We got the paperwork done for her Cadillac that we're gonna be picking up probably tomorrow, actually, which is crazy. We got a new truck coming that somebody's delivering here because I didn't want to drive it and you'll find out why. And also, we signed on our house, so we're officially owners of a new house. Oh, oh yeah, she, she applied for her first ever credit card, you know, so that she can start building her own credit so she has credit to apply for other stuff as well. So yeah, just lots going on. Anyways, guys, let's get back over to the house and we will get back with you probably when this new project truck is getting delivered. We've got this not so lovely headlight. We've got this nice, clean, crisp, polished, just super nice headlight that I just cleaned. I just cleaned the whole truck and wiped it all down. And then you've got this foggy mess. There's water sitting in there, a bunch of crap. So we've got a project for today. I'm actually gonna take the grill off, take the headlight out, and try to fix this problem to get rid of the fog, get rid of the water, so that we have this headlight fixed and in proper operating and looking, functioning condition. If you have not done so yet and you'd like to win a dream truck with $5,000 cash, we are giving away this 2001 73 Power Stroke, 170,000 miles on it. It's an XLT crew cab, long bed. We put custom leather interior in the entire truck. Let me show you that here. Beautiful leather interior in the entire truck. Turned out super, super nice. Very clean as you can see the, see the frame down in there. It's a very, very clean truck. It's not rusted out and crap. Um, yeah, very nice, very clean truck. If you want to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, every $5 is two automatic entries to win, and that deal ends in 12 days. So don't waste any time. Get entered while you can. Go to lmpgear.com. Information is in the description below. We did get this headlight out. I was going to film it, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need to film it. Um, but it actually came out very, very easy, because what I did when I had to wire the daytime running LEDs, you know, like this portion of the headlight. I actually didn't wire it 
to the harness, I wired it to the harness that was already on the headlight, which would be common sense. They should just do that from the manufacturer to make it easier on you. But so what I did was I just wired it to the harness that was already on the headlight that they sell you. So you could just plug and play, like plug it in. I actually put the connectors on and just connected it to there and then just taped it around. But so that way it's in the same harness, you just plug it in to a factory um, halogen style headlight. But anyways, all that aside, that doesn't matter. So the point is, I got this off, the water right there. So what I have to try to do is figure out where the water got in and how to seal it off so it doesn't happen again. Main problem is figuring out where the water got in. We got the headlight fixed. Come take a look here. No more fog. No more foggy headlight. All gone, there's real bad sun glare on it. but. No more foggy headlight. Clear as day, just like this side. Looks way better. And also, our new project has arrived, and I'm gonna show you that right now. I would do like a super cool dramatic reveal, but I don't think the truck is quite worthy of that. But let me show you what we got right here. Behind me, I have a mint condition 1993 Dodge Ram. Since it's not a dually and I'm not sure, W250, four wheel drive, 12 valve Cummins, intercooled. 12 valve Cummins with a five speed manual mint condition. Mint condition. No, all jokes aside, it's a 1993 intercooled 12 valve. And you're probably wondering to yourself right about now, what on earth have you gotten yourself into? Well, what I got myself into is a full restoration project. For the people that have been watching my videos here for the past couple of months, past few months, you know that I bought that red truck. This is purchased off of the exact same guy. I bought that red regular cap 12 valve in there and there's gonna be people that see that truck and go, oh my gosh, all it is is a truck with wheels and tires on it. You know, if they're new to the channel, they don't understand how much time went into that truck. Flooring, I mean the seats, the dash, we did, you know, the bed off and we did the frame, all chassis saver coated and, you know, sprayed down and cleaned up, wire brushed. We did, you know, the engine was gone through and looked at in some spots just to make sure everything was sound. We had the whole front end and steering components all redone. We had the whole thing, paint and body work done, front to back. I mean, just tons of stuff. So much went into the truck. Front leveling kit, which I also forgot to mention in my build list video. Of course, the wheels and tires went on the truck as well. But there was just so much more to it than what people were saying and a lot of people didn't give it very much credit, which I think is wrong because there was a lot of time and a lot of money went into that truck to make it what it is. And that was the inspiration inspiration for this truck right here. For the record, I understand that this is gonna get a lot of, it's gonna get a lot of people talking in the comments and on uh, Instagram and everything like that, but who remembers when I posted a picture of this very truck, and it was, I wanna say, um, I wanna say it was a month ago, and I just went and looked at this truck for the first time, and I said, who thinks I should buy this and make it a project? A six or 7,000 likes in the picture. Tons of people like, yeah, 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 heck yeah, do it, go, full restoration, whatever. So I decided to pull the trigger, I bought the truck, and this is gonna be a full restoration project. And when I say it's gonna be a full restoration project, it's smashed in down there. It's not rotted, it's just, it's banged up. The bed in here, again, it's not rotted. It's It's been worked, it was a work truck, I'm sure. I mean, the bed looks pretty beat. But there's no holes, it's not rusted through. Tailgate, I'm gonna save the badge. I might have to reuse it on the next truck, depending on the bed that it is, and depending whether or not the badge is trashed. In this side, of course, right here, it's all smashed in, okay? But you, you're probably asking yourself, why did you buy the truck that have has so many flaws, so many issues, why'd you buy the truck? Um, Again, I, I don't know if it's really smashed in right here much or if it's just kind of like the way the body lines are, I can't tell. It kind of looks to me like this side is just kind of showing you how the body lines actually flow on these trucks. But let me show you why I bought this truck and what made me want it so bad. Other than the project is this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is factory paint on the frame right here. He said that he took the truck and he like looked at the cab mounts, he looked at the, you know, all that stuff, the bed mounts, and just polished it, just worked it. And he took this section and just clean, 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 clean. And he's like, there's there's still factory paint in places. And I had already looked all the way through the truck front to back a couple different times. Frame is just so nice. It is so clean. In fact, I'm probably gonna do a video just on cleaning the frame here. Maybe not an entire video, but like put a segment in a video of cleaning the frame just to show you what we're working with because this it's good bones, it's solid, and that's why I was drawn to it. So that's kind of the idea. New doors, new windshield, you know, 
full new interior, new bed, new fender on the front driver's side, new rocker on the front driver's side. And then of course on the interior, you're probably looking at the flooring with some concerns. However, if you look under here, let me show you under here. Uh, yeah, it's clean. It's actually really clean. And I, and I, and I get it, the seat's beat, the seat's shot. I'm not sure if we will be able to reuse the seats or not. Um, but I'll, I'll get to some more information here in a bit. I'm probably not gonna use hardly anything in this interior. In fact, I'm probably gonna gut the interior and redo a lot. So just expect that uh, most of the interior is gonna be getting uh, ripped out and just redone. New carpet's gonna be going in for sure. We're gonna have new seats. We're probably gonna try to find a park truck that has good seats, good doors and stuff like a gas or two wheel drive maybe. And then just take all of the goods out of that truck put them in this truck. That's gonna be the goal. Just make this thing totally sick. I know it's hard to tell right now, hard to picture it, but it's gonna happen. It is the five speed, it is four wheel drive. Let me see if I can pop the hood here. This tire is going low pretty quick. <laughs> um, okay, so popping the hood. Okay, so hood is up. Okay, the hood does look like it might be a little bit bent or the hinges or something, I can't tell. Um, but we'll fix that, we'll fix that. It's all part of the plan. So here's what you're looking at. There's gonna be some fluid and stuff on there because he said that uh, he did actually have to crack the lines because when he got the truck, it didn't it didn't run or drive. So he said that he had to crack the fuel lines, which is pretty no a pretty normal thing. Somebody probably ran it out of fuel and then got some air in the lines and pawned it off because they're like, it won't start. Well, same thing happened to my buddy's truck and all he had to do is crack the lines, got the air out of the lines, truck fired right up. So that's the, that's the thing with that. It's got a hornet's nest under the hood. Yeah, lovely. There's actually some like pieces of hornets under the hood. If we're under the hood, what are we looking at here? Well, the fuel pump is leaking, I believe. It's a fuel pump or a fuel line going to the pump. Something of that nature, not 100% sure. We gotta go through some things, look it over, and just kinda know exactly what we're dealing with before I can give you a actual diagnosis as to what the problem is. But let's just say it does have a fuel leak right now that we're gonna have to fix. It runs good, believe it or not. It, it starts right up and just purrs. We're gonna do a full engine cleaning as well. Maybe I'll do a whole video on engine cleaning and pressure washing and just everything. What's the worst that could happen, guys? I mean, it's in it's in rough shape right now. If I'm gonna take that chance, I'd rather do it while everything's filthy. Maybe just protect the um, intake. Well, it already looks like it's already fairly protected with this setup. Kind of looks like it's just going down underneath there. So I actually might do that. So um, yeah, it it just needs a full clean, a full detail to actually know what you're looking at under the hood. But let me show you how you start it right now. How they get the key for the truck, of course. This is funny, so there's actually no ignition in the truck right now. Uh, the ignition switch is taken out along with that stuff as well. He said that when he got the truck, it didn't have a key. And so they were having a key made. Well, when they had the key made, it didn't work still. So we took the entire ignition out. So if you put the screwdriver in right there, it kind of catches that. Starts right up. Perfect. So um, it's in neutral. So I'm going to uh, show you around the engine here, but uh, just gave her some revs to see if she made any weird sounds. I basically bought the truck blind, other than looking at it on the lot once and saying, Yeah, I want it. I need some work. She purrs like a kitten, but she's gonna get some work. We're gonna go through the engine on this truck, and I'm telling you what, guys, it's gonna be like old school content, but every single day on this truck. So I've been trying to bring back the daily videos. It's something that I haven't done in, well, basically since I met Reagan. Not blaming it on her, but basically since I met Reagan, I haven't been doing full-time videos. I've just had other responsibilities and stuff going on. I'm just trying to just work that in on top of everything else and go full-time again on not just doing all the other work that I have to do behind the scenes but that and the videos every single day not missing anything and not letting you guys miss anything 200,000 miles on the truck and the miles are the miles are actual I do believe I'm not gonna know until I drive it and uh, see if it's counting up leaking quite a bit of fuel as you can see I'm not sure where it's spraying from though oh I see where it's spraying from the entire pump is leaking like crazy Oh yeah, 
She's a leaker. And then, just like that, she's off. That's that's her. That's the truck. And uh, she's a leaker. She's leaking a lot of fuel, like a lot of fuel. So I'm not exactly sure where to where to even start with that. Um, this would be what my plan would be. Try to basically go through and see if there's anything obvious, like a completely cracked open fuel line or something stupid, like a connection like that. If that's not it, and obviously it's something worse, then, you know, obviously I'll just have to take the truck to maybe one of our local guys, like the guy that did my dad's first shin pump, and just say, hey, you know, the, the pump's leaking like a dog. Is there anything you guys can do for it? But I don't know if that's gonna be the first thing I do for the truck. I mean, that would be nice if we could get that done sooner than later. That way, you know, the truck's drivable without spraying fuel everywhere. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys are excited for this beautiful specimen to be completely restored. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this, because this truck was a challenge for me compared to what we've done in the past, and this is just gonna be a whole nother level. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do this daily video thing, I wanna kick it off with a project that needs my attention every day, so it'll make me come out and do something on it. I think this truck is just about perfect for the combination of work and fun that I was looking for. It's just gonna be cool all around, and I know it's gonna give me some headache here and there, but it's a first gen, you know? How unfun could it be? Cause I think it's gonna be a blast just to see the transformation. Everything wrong with this truck can be fixed. We'll go through the whole truck, we'll get everything done, and I promise you guys, I promise, I promise, just like I did with this truck right here that Michael's taking home, when this truck is done, you're gonna be like, that is not even the same truck, holy crap. If you wanna enter to win, this 2001 F350 Super Duty with a 7.3 liter power stroke in it. Enter today, you guys are down to the last 12 days to enter to win that truck, plus $5,000 cash. And every $5 will get you two automatic entries until March 13th, and then that deal is gone. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.